Hello everyone, Wreckabilly here. Today I want to show you how to do different speeds of clocks in 1.9. Now in 1.8 in previous versions, we were able to do almost the same thing, but now we have different types of clocks. So I thought we'd go ahead and revisit for any newcomers to Command Blocks. Um, this is probably... As far as I can tell, this is probably going to be the way that we do clocks from now on um, for mini games and adventure maps and so on. Okay, so these are basic clocks. On the sidebar, you can see I have a scoreboard set to count and my score is zero. If I stand on one of these relative to the armor stands, if I stand on one of these iron blocks, that count score will go up. This one right here, the fast clock, is the regular speed at which these clocks count. So if I stand here, you can see that is going up pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and reset that to zero. Now we have a medium clock here. So if I stand here, you can see it's going up pretty quickly, but not nearly as fast. Now let's go ahead and reset that to zero again. Now we have a slower clock. Yeah, definitely a slow clock. And finally, a really slow clock. Yeah, <laughs> that is extremely slow. Um, compare this to this. <laughs> so you can definitely have a very wide range of speeds. In fact, you can go a lot slower than this. Um, I'm not sure how much faster you can go though. So um, yeah, I think, I think this is probably the fastest we'll be able to do a clock as far as I can tell. Um, there might be ways around it, but let me go ahead and show you guys what's going on. This first one, the simplest and easy one, um, basically it's executing from the armor stand and it's counting my score up um, if I'm in the correct spot. So count, add one to count if I'm there. So no problem, that's how that works. Now these ones are all pretty similar, so let's go ahead and check them out. We have an execute at E whose name equals medium clock, that's this guy, and it's going from negative 5x, so in the direction execute at P whose radius equals 0, so that's just basically saying if I'm in that spot, then do the next command, this command on. So scoreboard players, remove at E whose name equals medium clock score clock speed min equals 1 clock speed 1. Now that means I have a new scoreboard objective called clock speed. Now if I do slash scoreboard objective set display sidebar clock speed we can see we have a few different scores set. So fast clock he doesn't need a score set that's just there to, to kind of signify that yes this is a fast clock. Medium clock though has a score of, I believe, it's either 5, no, it's 5, it's 5. So, if we go here, we can see his score is changing very quickly. So what it's doing is, it's removing 1 from medium clock score. Then over here, this is a scoreboard whose player set medium clock whose score, clock speed equals 0, clock speed 5. So basically, if medium clock has a score of 0, set clock speed to 5. So this kind of just loops around. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, set to 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, set to 5. Understand? Now, every time this one is activated, this chain block is activated, which means you can essentially add a long chain, do whatever you want from here on out. And these will only activate when this one sets the score to 5. Does that make any sense? So it's 
five, four, three, two, one, set to five. This one says, oh, this block set his score to five. Let's go ahead and power. And you can do that for whatever amount of, um, of command blocks that, that is possible. So yeah, you can just set a long chain and do whatever you want from there on. So these ones are all pretty similar. It's removing the clock speed from slow clock, but it's setting his speed to 10. So that's 10 ticks rather than five. You can stand here and see that. So it gets to zero a lot slower. And then again, this adds one to the score and you can just continue this and do absolutely anything you want from there on. You don't even need a scoreboard. I'm just showing this to, to kind of give an example of what it can do. This can be powering anything. So let's say every three seconds that a player is in this room, summon a zombie. So this is what you would do, where you would put the summon zombie kind of thing. Um, now we have a really slow clock, so exactly the same thing, but I have this clock speed set to 25. So 25 ticks later, this and any chain block after it will be powered. And you can see his score sets to 25, gets really slow to go to zero. And like I said, you can extend this number to absolutely anything you want. 250? Sure, why not? That's going to take a really long time to reach zero, and that's going to be a really slow clock. Yeah, that's pretty slow. <laughs> but if that's what you want, then that's what you can do. Anyway, folks, that is all I got for you today. If you found this helpful, helpful, please leave a like. If you didn't find it helpful at all, feel free to downvote. I don't care. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Okay, so what we actually need is called an XOR gate. Um, I've actually only used this once before, and I totally forgot about it until now. Um... But, basically, we have a way to do a detect for an NBT block, um, or, or better explained as execute detect a block that has NBT data.